All right. Let's come to IELTS speaking practice class. Now, class IELTS 40. Um, let's come to topic number 17. 17. Mornings. So, Mr. Fook, please. Do you often get up early in the morning? Oh, yeah. Hmm? Mr. Fook, please, are you there? I cannot oh. hear you. Okay, I hear you now. Do you often get up early in the morning, Mr. Fook? Tung, can you answer this question, please? Do you usually, do you often get up early in the morning? Yes, I often get up early in the morning because I uh, need to ready to take a shower and sometimes take I go take a shower, yeah, and go to work. I see. Wow. That's a, that's a very, um, how can I say, neat way to spend the morning. So, uh, Mr. Thong, what do you usually do when you get up early? Um, I usually do um, uh, take a shower, eat breakfast, and sometimes... Have breakfast. Mm -hmm. Don't use the word eat breakfast, okay? Just use the word, just use expression, have breakfast. Have breakfast. Yeah. Không nghe Đức nói gì luôn have breakfast. The folk, yeah. The folk say something. Mm -hmm. Are you there? Choose your microphone. Choose your microphone and turn it on, please. Hello. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. I hear you now. Perfect. So, folk, how about you? Do you usually get up early in the morning? Uh, well, I usually get up early in the morning because, like, my school is quite school. far. My house is about. School. My school. My school. My school. My school is quite far. My house is about 11 kilometers. Kilometers. So, kilometers. Kilometers. And I need to uh, get up early to, uh, to, uh, to eat my eat to breakfast, have breakfast. To have breakfast. To have breakfast. And brush my teeth. You said that your school is about 11 kilometers away from your home, is that right? Yes. It's so 11 kilometers away from your home is really far. How long does it take you to travel there and, and mm -hmm. you go there by a motorbike or something? Uh, well, I think it depends on the... Uh, like... Okay, oh, yeah, it depends on the traffic. Uh, yeah. It depends on the traffic that day, I say. So what yep. does it mean? Uh, some day uh, it take me about thirty, and some day it take me about forty five minutes. Uh huh. So it's really long. Then you have to spend that much that amount of time to get back, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. That's terrible. Maybe you should tell your parents to maybe, um, you know, buy a house and then near to your school. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, no, you, it's not that easy. So, Miss Thuan, how are you? Uh, do you get up early in the morning? Yeah, uh, I'm actually an early birth. Uh, because an early birth. Oh. Early birth. Uh, because... <laughs> An early birth is a person who wake up early, yes. Because I I think I have to brush my teeth and take a shower before going to school. And I think that in the morning, I would probably be come up with uh, lots of new ideas. So I try my best to get up early. I see. You try your best to get up early. Um, so, Miss Yu, how about you? Do you usually get up early? And what do you often do? 
Um, I don't consider myself as an early bird because hmm. I usually stay late uh, at you night. Often, uh, stay up late at night. Stay up late at night. Uh, this since I uh, I focus I more. Focus more. I focus. Focus, focus more on. Uh, on night. So, um, but I really want to wake up early so I can, uh, I can have more time. Of and course, have more time for my, um, to, to get ready for the day, right? Yes. To get ready for the day. Để chuẩn bị, để chuẩn bị cho, cho một ngày làm việc. To get ready for the day, I think. Okay, so Miss Yu, um, uh, do you get up early on weekends or only during the week? Well, uh, in the weekend, I will sleep as long as I want. Because, um, like, I like to sleep. Who doesn't? And, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I enjoy sleeping very much. Of course, me too. Perfect. So um in the week in the weekend on the weekend I like I will be like kind of lazy because uh during the weekdays I um I, ha I have to do a lot of work mm -hmm. and so I need to relax uh give myself some time to recharge do yes. whatever I want Okay, good, good. All right, so, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Fook, please. So, which mornings, which morning do you like the best in a week? Em thích cái ngày sáng nào nhất trong tuần? Thank you. Obviously, not Monday morning. I think... <laughs> not no. Monday morning. Everyone hate Monday morning. Not <laughs> today. I can get okay, okay, nearer to your phone, nearer. Gang hung, gang hung. I think uh, okay, Saturday morning because, like, I would get up early, uh, get up late as about 10 or 11. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. no, the way, hey, yes, I mean, I well, if you. If you sleep too late, like until 12, somebody would say something about you, I think. <laughs> okay, so, um, Phúc, uh, do you work efficiently in the morning? Em có làm việc hiệu quả vào các buổi sáng không? Uh, well, I don't work effectually in the morning. Efficiently. Efficiently. No, sorry, e fi chứ phải efic. Efficiently. 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 Efficiently in the morning, like because I usually look like a zombie. Me too. <laughs> if I don't work in, if I don't sleep enough, my student will know it, <laughs> and they will feel it too. I will look like a zombie too. Understood. I think it looks like abandoned. Nhìn như zombie, nhìn như con uh, sát sống uh -huh. Nhìn như con cương thi <cười> uh -huh. So Mr. Tung, how about you? Which morning do you like the best in a week? Um, I think I like... I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, I think uh, uh, on the weekends I like um, in a... Uh... You, like, you like Sunday morning? Oh, Saturday morning, really. I think uh, Sunday, uh, yeah, Sunday morning, because uh, Saturday morning, I need to go to work half day. So, oh. yeah, I like um, Sunday. I see. So, Mr. Tung, some people, they have to go to the church on Monday, on Sunday, you know, but oh, most yeah. people don't have to do that. Um, there has been a proposal. Đã có một cái proposal, một cái lời đề nghị, một đề xuất, a proposal. 
in which people should have um, let's say should split let's say Thursday or Wednesday they don't have to work at all so you only have to work Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday so four days a week what do you think about a proposal do you think it's a good idea I think that um, uh, um, yeah maybe why maybe like you have three days off and then four days work in a week but um yeah but i think uh, some work like me i i work uh, with a service i buy a sell service so oh. if i just work uh, four days in a week and i think not enough for to cover for um, people use service well <clears throat> According to research, basically, the more hours people work, it doesn't result in more work done, you know. Làm việc nhiều tiếng đồng hồ hơn, không có nghĩa là sẽ có làm được nhiều việc hơn đâu nha. Well, according to new research. Alright, so basically, in uh, some countries of the uh, <coughs> of uh, Europe, they only work six hours per day. But actually, they, have, they get more things done. And they have time for um, physical exercises. They have time to join clubs, to join um, activities, you know. And people become happier because of that. So, actually, the 40 hour, the 40 hour work week might be quite obsolete. What do you think? Obsolete. Lỗi thời này. Or it's old-fashioned. So what do you think, Mr. Huan? Do you think that people should work less these days? Or study less? Ah, yeah. Oh, that is that not best. What do you think, Mr. Huan? I know you, hi. Like, I was, I was talking about a situation when people work less and study less. Um, do you think it's a good idea? Oh, I think uh, it's a good idea because uh, when when working uh, more a lot of about forty hours, uh, it makes me feel uh, extremely uh, drained and drain I, out. It makes me drain out. It makes me drained out and. I have to, I, I don't want to get out of my bed. Uh, so I think uh, we should. Uh, ta? Giảm giờ làm là. Giảm giờ làm hả? Yeah. You mean we should have more breaks? Yeah, have more breaks. We should and have more breaks. Mm -hmm. And. To, uh, relax and do more exercise uh, I think I this idea will um, improve the mental health uh, and well-being mm -hmm. the mental yes. health and other well-being of a human body I think so too but with IELTS I'm sorry this is not the case with IELTS with IELTS you need more <laughs> time to spend uh, in, indoor you need more time to do homework you need more time to um, to work on it so this thing might only apply to work but I don't think it applies to studying IELTS though because no amount of studying is enough for IELTS actually Chẳng có một cái lượng học nào là đủ cho IELTS cả. I think no amount of studying is enough for IELTS. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so Miss Yeo, do you work efficiently in the morning? Uh, yes, I work efficient, more efficiently in the morning. Uh, like in the in the beginning of the day, my energy is still high, and that's the time I. Spend I I will uh, do the most difficult task. I see. Yeah. And in the afternoon, in the I afternoon, in the afternoon in in the afternoon I will I will be lost 
uh, an amount of energy. I will lose the, an amount of energy throughout the day. The, yeah, productivity is not so good. Productivity yeah. won't be so great. I see. I understand that too because, well, that's why I don't take night classes anymore. You know, like after 10 p.m., I don't take night classes anymore because I feel like I cannot work anymore at night. You know, I'm old now. <clears throat> of course, sometimes, sometimes uh, when there are urgent cases, có những trường hợp mà khẩn cấp urgent cases i still sometimes i do teach at night but that would be very tiring you know cái bản chất cái việc nó rất là tiring and it makes me feel tired very tired yes cẩn thận tính từ chủ động bị động nha careful with the active or passive adjective <cười> all right so let's go to part 2 and part 3 <cười> so um, let me choose for you a new topic. Mm, there's, I need to move this one a lot. <clears throat> okay. Try um, 15 then, I think. Yes, yeah. 15. Describe a kind of weather you like. Ok, miêu tả một cái loại thời tiết mà bạn thích So there are many different kind of weather um, We have rainy Rainy weather We have snowy weather Thời tiết tuyết Rồi, rồi mưa Or sunny weather We have cloudy weather Thời trời mây Windy weather Thời trời gió Gió, gió thổi Vì vi vu and the uh, stormy sorry stormy weather yeah exactly stormy đầy uh, bão tố stormy weather mm -hmm. yeah some people like tsunami <laughs> tsunami <laughs> weather <laughs> you don't like yeah. tsunami weather you know what tsunami is <laughs> japanese don't like tsunami sóng thần <laughs> Like we tsunami like... weather, we don't we don't have tsunami weather, okay? Just <laughs> don't like it. Okay, stormy weather. <clears throat> we have gloomy. The word gloomy, I'm damn. Oh, you don't like gloomy. Gloomy weather. It's when like it's really foggy. It can be foggy. Foggy là đầy um, sương mù. Go okay. to Hanoi to enjoy gloomy oh, day. Terrible. <laughs> Hanoi is having a gloomy weather right now, I think. Cold, yeah. wet, and it feels terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, so we have foggy weather sometimes in Ho Chi Minh City, but that is not real fog, it's just the pollution. It's yeah. just the pollution. Well, it's just the pollution, you know? It's just a pollution. When <clears throat> when the weather is hotter, when it's hotter, the air moves faster, and hence the dust, the smoke, they travel further and they travel faster too. So it means that the air in the in a city is not going to be so polluted, like when it's cold, you know. Mm -hmm. khi trời mà khi mà nó thời tiết nó nó lạnh á cái không khí nó di chuyển chậm hơn và nó sẽ động lại chứng tỏ là thành phố nó tha hồ sương mù tha hồ mà bụi bẩn but when it's uh, hot actually it's better you know because the air move faster không khí trời nóng sẽ chuyển lẹ hơn đỡ ô nhiễm hơn now describe the kind of weather you like you should say what it is thời tiết gì vậy where you go in this weather? Bạn đi đâu trong thời tiết này? What you do in this weather? Bạn làm cái gì trong thời tiết đó? Explain yeah. why you like it. Giải thích tại sao bạn lại thích cái thời tiết đó. And you have part three of weather. What do people wear in different weather? Con người ta ăn mặc như thế nào trong nhiều thời tiết khác nhau? Well, we have raincoat, áo mưa. We have um, áo ấm, áo lạnh. 
we have a thick um, jacket. Ow, ow, yay, ow, am, ow, lam. Thick jackets, uh, but sometimes people just wear tank tops, you know, tank tops, right? Ow, uh, ow, tập gym, ow, ow, tank top, ow, mà, ow, ba lỗ. Ow, ba lỗ. And shorts, quần shorts, or skirts, yeah. mặc váy, or they can wear bikini. In different weather, yeah. Sometimes the weather is extremely hot, so people have to do that. Um, trời bão thì sao? How about stormy weather? Well, just stay indoor, okay? <laughs> wear a blanket. Yeah, you can wear a blanket, but you can fly away <laughs> with stormy weather. Bay luôn á. Mm -hmm. You can fly away. Mặc áo ba lô bay bay. Phúc nói vậy. You don't need to send me direct message, folks. You can send to everyone in a meeting. Ok, gửi cho tất cả mọi người á ừ. Mất công thì phải chỉnh lại cái, cái nút này nữa Ok, good Now, so you should explain Why people wear those kinds of clothes Ôi, nè Say again Mạng á Mạng Phải giải thích là tại sao Mạng nghịch chua Mạng lễ tỉnh Không ơi, what do you say? Come on We're in the class Phải giải thích tại sao là con người ta lại mặc những đồ đó trong thời tiết như vậy Like, try to explain why people wear different kind of clothes like that in different weather. Um, and also explain like what activities people um, do when they use those, when they wear those kind of clothes. Like for example, if it's hot weather but you are riding on your bicycle or your motorbikes a lot, you still need your jacket. Because sometimes it's it's uh, it's cold too, you know. Or um, okay, next question: What does the weather influ? How does the weather influence people's life? Thời tiết ảnh hưởng đến đời sống con người như thế nào? Think about um, think about the crops, vụ mùa thu hoạch. Think about the crops. Think about uh, crop yield. Fishing. Think about crop yield. Sản lượng thu hoạch. Think about <coughs> what else? Um, Tính cách. Mood. Tâm trạng. Tâm trạng con người. Yeah, personality. What's sometimes personality? Những tính cách con người. Like for example, um, they say that if people are born in different seasons, they might have the personalities of those seasons too, you know. Con người ta, người ta nói là nếu con người ta sinh ra vào những cái thời tiết, vào những cái mùa như thế nào, thì có thể con người ta sẽ có cái tính cách của cái mùa đó luôn. Like for example, if you are born around March, you should uh, be cheerful, you know, because it's springtime, yeah. Người sinh tháng 3 sẽ cheerful, vui vẻ, hay cười, em thấy vui tính Tại vì mùa xuân vui. trăm hoa đun nở, ông bướm vui trùa You know Or people born or people born in the winter time They might be colder, you know, harder to approach Người sinh mùa đông có thể khó để mà tiếp cận hơn Harder to approach, something like that Now, um, something like that. Influence people's life. Actually, weather influences people's life a lot. That's why we have weather forecasts, you know. Mình có dự báo thời tiết. Là tại vì sao? Tại vì... Tại vì nó ảnh hưởng rất là nhiều đến cái đời sống con người. Cho nên mới có dự báo thời tiết forecast, weather forecast. Um... Let's say, let's talk about hoạt động của ngư dân, like talk about fishermen, fishermen, ngư dân, if they want to catch fish, they need to um, watch for storms. Uh, 
Um, what else? If people want to plan the activities, they need to watch. They need to uh, look at the weather forecast because nobody wants to have a party when it's rainy, right? When people don't want to come, right? Làm ở party xong cái trời mưa không ai muốn đến. It's it's not a good thing. So yeah. right. that is that, okay? And then mood, of course. When it's sun, sunny, most people would feel more positive, right? Trời nắng, con người sẽ cảm thấy tích tích cực hơn because of more sunlight, you know? Nhìn thấy mặt trời hơn, tích cực hơn. But when it gets, um, how can I say, when it rains, people feel more calm, cảm thấy bình tĩnh hơn. But when it's raining for the whole day, trời mà nó sụt sùi, nó, nó giống như là mưa từ sáng đến tối luôn á. Well, when when it's like that, when it rains for the whole day from the morning till the night, people might feel like you know, feel depressed, you know, might feel very depressed. Thử hỏi các bạn ngoài bắc, thời thời trời nồm sẽ cảm thấy thế nào? <cười> Think about how people in the north, if the weather is like wet, cold, wet, irritating, vừa bức rất khó chịu, vừa lạnh, vừa vừa ướt. Well, it's really irritating. Bếp, bếp gọi là gì vậy? Sorry. Bếp bếp đó thầy, bếp gọi là gì? Um, when it's sticky, when you feel sticky, sticky. I think Bình sticky. Nhá. When you feel irritated, I think irritating all already is described that feeling. Cảm giác bức rất khó chịu, nó đã bao gồm cảm giác đó rồi. I think it feels terrible. So of course, you might, you will not feel happy in those kind of weather. Well, just a story, okay? When I was in university, people say that okay, when you take exams and it's rainy, your chance to fail is actually higher. Because the teachers would be very moody and they they feel bad and they are more likely to be mean to you, okay? Hồ đại học á Lúc đi thi, ta nói là nếu mà nếu mà ngày đó trời mưa mày chết rồi <cười> uh-huh. Mấy ngày mưa dễ bị fail lắm luôn hoặc điểm thấp Hai cô lúc đó cũng bị moody lắm, cảm thấy uh, dễ uh, rất là mean luôn Cảm thấy lúc đó là hỏi những câu rất là Ôi trời ơi, kinh khủng Trời nắng đi thi, ok, good Good day, if you go out and take exams, you might pass very well, yeah, but When it's rainy, oops So tired uh-huh. It was so deep huh? Yeah, uh, no, I, I tell you um, When the rainy day, so I feel so tired and so bad, so sad and Yeah. Well, you know how it is. Now, so why um, are weather forecast often unreliable? Tại sao những cái dự báo thời tiết nó thường là không đáng tin lắm? Unreliable. Unreliable. Think about it. Why? Because sometimes you you watch the weather forecast on TV or you look at weather forecast online. Uh, but on that day, it doesn't rain. Or on that day, It's not sunny like what the weather forecast said, you know. So this question, this question asks, what the reason why? So you have to think, I think you should think about like, there are many factors that can influence weather. Có nhiều nhân tố có thể ảnh hưởng thời tiết lắm. Like for example, Mm. What? Like for example, cái ngày hôm đó, like um, vị trí cách chọn sao, <laughs> <laughs> the position of the stars and the planets. Well, yeah, actually, it does affect somehow, you know. But I don't think, I don't think you should say this, okay? <laughs> Because mm. a lot of people they don't believe in that thing. Okay, let's just talk about something that is more scientific, okay? 
Well, you know forecasting. Forecasting it's never meant to be correct anyway. They only they they only give you a clue what to expect. Nó chỉ cho mình một cái clue, một cái gợi ý để mà mình sẽ expect mình sẽ mong đợi điều gì với cái ngày đó thôi. It's not meant to be accurate, you know. Không có meant to be. Đúng là nó không có meant to be. Nó không có um, không được tạo ra để mà gọi là chính xác đâu. <cười> Think about lượng mưa. Think about cái lượng nắng trước đó. Think about the amount of sunlight on the previous days. Nghĩ về cái lượng ánh sáng mặt trời vào cái ngày những ngày trước đó. If there's a lot of sunlight on the previous days, there's a lot of evaporation of water. Sự bốc hơi nước nó diễn ra mạnh. <cười> so of course there will be a lot of clouds, right? Đương nhiên sẽ có rất là nhiều mây. And when the cloud, um, when the temperature drops, When the temperature drops, clouds will be too heavy and and um, water droplets water droplets will form. It rains. Okay. <cười> Khi nhiệt độ giảm xuống, thì những cái đám mây nặng đó quá nặng và những hạt nước sẽ hình thành. Nó sẽ mưa xuống. So what do I mean by this? If the previous days are really really sunny and it's really hot, you can expect the following days to rain, you know, heavily. Nếu những ngày trước đó mà nắng nắng mù bể đầu luôn thì có thể expect mong đợi là những ngày sau đó có thể là nó mưa 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 muốn muốn lục luôn á chẳng hạn. Well, that happens. <cười> well, you should also talk about the season as well. What season? Những mùa nào nữa cơ? Season. Mm -hmm. The wind direction as well. The wind direction là hướng gió. Hướng gió nào nữa cơ? Like the wind direction to blow the cloud, you know? Gió thì nó thổi mây. The cloud, the, the, the wind, they blow the clouds. So like for example, If a place is very sunny for several days, but the wind blow the cloud to another region next to it, then this, re this region might not receive any rain at all. You know? Nếu một vùng mà nó có uh, những ngày nắng, nhưng mà cái gió lại thổi cái mây đó nó qua một cái vùng khác, thì cái vùng đó, cái vùng ban đầu đó, nó sẽ chẳng nhận được tí mưa nào hết So there are many factors that can affect um, you know, how weather can be formed <cười> What else then? Vị trí các tròn sao <cười> The position of the stars <cười> Well, I want to talk about that but maybe Maybe people will not accept that answer <cười> Anyway, next question. Are there any festivals about seasons in your country? Có bất kỳ cái lễ hội gì về mùa ở đất nước bạn hay không? Like lễ hội mùa xuân, spring festival. Uh, lễ hội mùa hè, mùa hè, mùa hạ. Summer festival. Trung thu, mid autumn festival. Mùa đông này có gì ta? What about for winter? We have Christmas, right? No. Mm -hmm. um, according to my source, there are about 4,000 different festivals, big and small, in Vietnam. All the way from Cao Bang to Cao Mau, to the, to the, from the north to the south of this country. Say again? 4,000. 4,000. About 4,000 different kind of festivals Nhưng mà nó bao gồm lớn nhỏ kìa <cười> There might be small festivals in each um, In each towns, you know, we, we don't know Có thể là những cái festival địa phương của từng cái 
à, địa phương nó lại có những festival riêng của nó nữa Ok You should talk about some of them, you know And describe how people um, dress, what people do, what food and drink people serve Ăn uống sao, ăn mặc ra sao And uh, the meaning of this festival, cái ý nghĩa của những festival đó And what is special about those festivals? Okay. Like for example, Spring Festival is related to the harvest, to the, um, what's it called? Um, cái thời kỳ mà gọi là đúng nghĩa là đi uh, mùa xuân trăm hoa đua nở. Uh, spring Festival is like to celebrate, to celebrate that life is being formed again after a winter. Và cái lúc mà khoảng tháng 9 tháng 10 á, cùng Thiên Bình á, lúc đó là cái lúc thu hoạch. So about the time of October or in the end of uh, the, the end of September or October, that's the time when harvest, you know, the time of harvest. So maybe mid autumn festival is about that maybe. I'm not so sure, okay? Mid autumn is also about the moon as well. Nói về mặt trăng, nói về <cười> thu hoạch I'm not so sure about a summer festival, okay? Maybe summer festival is just like, you know, for gaming, for for sports, for summer activities To uh, celebrate the fact that we don't have to uh, do uh, a lot of things Because Summer, it's when we have a lot of harvest, when we have a lot of things ready, available for us. Prosperity. Sự thịnh vượng. Tại vì cái mùa hè là cái mùa mà chúng ta có đầy đủ, đủ đầy nhất luôn á. <cười> we have a lot of sunlight, yes. A lot of activities, a lot of fun. Rất nhiều ánh sáng mặt trời, rất nhiều hoạt động, rất là nhiều sự vui vẻ. A lot of food, yeah. Food. Like food. Well, that's that's something, okay. All right, you should think about this one. You have two minutes. Okay, let's do it now. Okay, um, Mr. Fu, can you start first? Can you describe a kind of weather you like? I think. The weather I like most is cloudy. Like I like it because it's not it's not hot and like it's not it's not very uh, as cold as a rainy day and it's very suitable for me to it's suitable for who like who playing outdoor sport because it's very uh, Cool, man, man. It's cool. Yeah, and when it, and when I play soccer in the wait when club. I play when I play football when I play soccer football. Else, yeah. don't use the word soccer in IELTS ever. When I play I want to play football outside. Out outside in the cloudy day, it's help me to play. Longer. Yeah, it helps me to play longer. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. Um. That's why I like it. Okay. Good, Miss Huan. Please, can you describe a kind of weather you like? Oh, I'm going to describe uh describe cloudy days. Uh, actually, uh. Uh, at this day, I want to stay at home and uh, do some of my favorite things like uh, listen to music or... Or what? Or relax. And, or if I have to go outside to go to school, I don't uh, need to apply uh, a quick... Uh, layer of uh, sunscreen and like at cloudy days I can wear tank top 
uh, and don't afraid much. Uh, my skin. And I, and I should be... not be afraid. I would not be afraid much. Of I my... would not be afraid um, of my skin uh, burned. Yeah. Of skin burn, uh, skin burn, skin burns, skin burns, or um, getting darker. Or getting darker, mm -hmm. and so this is the reason why I love a uh, cloudy days. Hmm, I think so too. Think about it. I rarely apply sunscreen when I go out because I just wear very thick clothes. I think, and I wear gloves like professional biker gloves. So and then um, I don't go out much. Okay, so. <laughs> So that's so that's why I'm I'm so uh, my skin tone is very bright. Mau mau yeah. Just don't use the word white, okay, or black, okay. My skin tone is very bright or dark. Right. Yeah, nó là cái cái màu da thôi chứ không phải là cái da mặt không nè. My it's not my face, it's my skin tone in general, okay. <coughs> okay, Tom, your turn. Yes, um. So I will describe um, a kind of weather. I like uh, um, I like uh, cloudy mm, because uh, cloudy have the. Um, I like it cloudy. Let's just say that. Yeah, I like a, a cloudy uh, because cloudy is so yeah so so. Thank you. <laughs> it's so um, pleasant. Pleasant. So pleasant, and I feel a good mood um, with a day have a cloudy. And I and I have a good mood when it's cloudy. I often I often have a good mood. I often when have a good it's mood. It's cloudy. With it cloudy. Khi trời may không phải là when the weather is cloudy nha, không phải là the sky is cloudy nha, mà là it's cloudy. It's is cloudy. I often have a good mood when it's cloudy. <clears throat> and uh, I can more activity. I can do more activities. Yeah, I can do more I can do more activities like um play football, uh gym or running or yeah, picnic, yeah. Many things many things I can do with the cloudy. Many things you can do with cloudy weather, right? Yes. That's why I like it, right? Yes, that that's why I like it. Good. That's why I like it. Good. Good. Now, Miss Yo, please. Can you describe a kind of weather you like? Well, my favorite type of type of weather is sunny. Um, mm -hmm. it's because it's because a sunny day is a typical day in summer. So, um, it should have sunshine, but there not too hot. There should be. There should be. There, there. is. There are. There is. There are. There, there should be, be there sunshine, should be sun, uh, sunshine. Uh, but not too hot and uh, also a little bit windy. Mm -hmm. Well, that kind of weather is suitable Complex. for any, any kind of activity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, the, in that weather, we, my family usually uh, go to the beach and we uh, enjoy Mm, maybe it's a small party. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, picnic, we will play... picnic. Oh, picnic. Yeah, picnic. Picnic is more suitable. Mm -hmm. We have a, a small picnic and go swimming. That's really good uh, thing to do in the summer. And um, besides, I grew up in... A, I grew um, up in... A... I grew up in the tourism phase famous tourism city which I, have... I grew up so basically i grew up in a famous tourist city we call it tourist city actually uh, tourist. i grew up in a famous uh, tourist city uh, which has a lot of activity and festivals in summer so like i have a lot of uh, I have fun. A, I got have. I have a lot of fun memory. 
or fun memory. I had a lot of fun memories. So, um, yeah, that's a lovely season for me. That's I think a that's season for I like. me. I see. <clears throat> good, good. Now, so let's talk about part three of weather now. Um, Mr. Pupley, so what do people wear in different weather? Uh, which weather? <laughs> this question is quite vague, so you need to expand it in oh. different ways, okay? So which, what do people wear in different weather, Mr. Pup? Uh, you can say, you can that. say you start, but it depends on what, the, what weather we're talking about or something like that. Yeah, I think it depends on the what which weather. Uh, uh, in the summer, I think they they, they usually wear short and tank top mm -hmm. and like a uh, skirt. Or um, maybe some men just wear short and they don't wear shirt. Wow, and I topless. Think... Being topless. Being topless. Không mặc đồ Không mặc đồ ở uh, bên phần trên của cơ thể Well, it being topless is no fun, you know, because It is fun if you look good But it's not fun when you are fat and ugly <laughs> So If people are topless Let's hope that their body looks good, okay? <laughs> Not really, because my dad usually topless, okay. and and he is about ninety six kilo. It's not about his kilograms, okay? <laughs> it's not about how how heavy he is. It's about um if he goes to the gym or not, <laughs> okay? Uh, um. Well, uh, in the like. In the winter, in the north, they usually wear a lot of clothes, uh, okay. like a uh, like sweater or áo gió, áo phao. Áo gió, áo lạnh, áo ấm là một thứ. Jacket. Jacket. Well, basically, uh, like winter jacket. You can just talk about it. Winter jacket. They usually wear winter jacket. Áo <cười> lạnh. Áo lạnh, áo gió, áo ấm <laughs> It's the same thing, you know? Uh, yeah, um... yeah. Okay So, Miss Yu, what do people wear in different weather then? I think clothes is uh, beside the fashion uh, purpose Clothes fashion. is to... Fashion Fashion Fashion, à, fashion. À, fashion. 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 Fashion purpose close is to protect, uh, protect, protect, pe protect people. So it depends on the weather. Um, to uh, for people to wear different clothes. <clears throat> for example, in the summer, I think most of people. Most of the people, careful. Um, and also depends on the region you are living in Vietnam. Uh, in the summer, most of the people prefer to wear long and dài dài. Long and thick. Long and thick. thick. Thick clothes to protect to protect their skin. And um, you barely see people. Uh, oh, you barely see women wear shop clothes clothes mm -hmm. on the street that's why we call them ninja <laughs> <laughs> and in the winter of course uh, most of the people will wear winter jacket or in or hoodies um uh, and long pants <clears throat> so they so them they can keep the body warm I think they can keep their body warm. Okay, okay, good, good. So, Miss Thornton, please. So, how does the weather influence, 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 influence people's life? Influence. Oh, uh, take uh, 
fisherman's is an example. I think uh, when the weather example, nó phải là example nha. Example, âm z. Exa as an example. Uh, as an example. Uh, if the weather is a stormy day, uh, it's hard for if them the to stormy, yes. fish. And on top of that, uh, the windy days um, is make people more easier to approach and uh, do some kind of uh, outdoor activities. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I think uh, uh, it's easy for a farmer to thu hoạch là giống như to harvest to harvest to uh, harvest their crops thu hoạch những vụ mùa của họ uh, it's easy for a farmer to harvest their crops so uh, that's I think uh, it's so important. Weather is so important because it influences people life uh, pretty much. I'm hot today. Okay, it's good enough. I think good enough. So, uh, um, Mr. Phu, please, Mr. Tong, please. Sorry. Um, why are weather forecasts often unreliable? What do you think? Mm. Uh, what do you think? Why are weather forecasts often unreliable? Tại sao các dự báo thời tiết thường không đáng tin? Actually, yeah. Um. In my opinion, so I I think I really talk, uh, believe believe uh, in um, uh, weather forecast uh -huh. because uh, in uh, I in my iPhone and my on my, iPhone, on my iPhone on my iPhone yes on we check our uh, weather so 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 choose and yeah I, I feel I believe in this app but uh, sometimes yeah but sometimes not much but um some sometimes it's uh, not true and not exactly so so sometimes it's not so accurate right accurate yeah it's not so correct it's not so accurate accurate okay so yes and uh, i think that is a uh, um the way that's the cái 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 hiện tượng thiên nhiên nó khác biệt thôi Phenomenon is different. Yeah, natural. Sometimes natural phenomenon. Natural, natural. Phenos. Phenomena. Phenomena. Phenomenon. A phenomenon. Phenomenon. Sometimes phenomenon. Sometimes natural phenomenon are different. It's different. Uh, it's different. What do you mean by that? You need to be to make it clear, yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, I, I mean, um, uh, I mean, uh, natural phenomenon and will be uh, some sometimes this app uh, not uh, can 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 check so can make sure uh, that is uh, dự báo chính xác là cao uh, can have an pro accurate prediction, right? Accurate prediction can have an accurate, accurate. prediction Một sự dự báo chính xác Can have an accurate prediction An accurate, okay, accurate. What else then? I think um, just, just that because uh, I can too Okay, Miss Yu, can you explain this question? Why are weather mm -hmm. forecasts often unreliable? I'm not sure. What do you think? Well, I think weather forecast is just something to give you a clue about the weather in a day. So it depends on many multiple uh, multiple factors. 
uh, such multiple as practices? multiple factors, such as um, the wind direction and the amount of the number of uh, sunny days before and um, the the location of that region. So, um, and besides, our technology is not so good to uh, to predict exactly the weather. So it's it's understand it's not yet here. It's quite uh, it's quite easy to understand. Yeah, let's, let's say. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's. It is easy to understand that uh, weather forecast forecast is often unreliable. Mm -hmm. Well, you can say that <clears throat> weather forecast is basically um, a relative. It is only it is it is um, it is relative. Not chỉ mang tính tương đối mà thôi. Chứ không tuyệt đối. It's relative. It's not absolute. It's not absolute. Nó không có tuyệt đối, nó chỉ tương đối mà thôi. It is relative only. It's not absolutely mm -hmm. correct. All right. So, Miss Tuan, please. So, are there any festival about seasons in your country? Oh, there's an extensive range uh, of a uh, festival about uh, about seasons. 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 seasons seasons in my countries um, such as spring spring festival summer festival uh -huh. mid autumn festival or, or Christmas but I guess um, uh, one, one of the best fest festival um, uh, would probably be mid autumn festival. Uh -huh because uh it is the the time the best time mm -hmm. for uh every families uh to guard garden gatherings and um can give a recitation to the moon um and can eat a lot of cakes uh, traditional cakes like moon cakes, uh, moon cakes and yeah. so uh, I I think uh, what do you think? Yeah, I không để ý hết hết biết luôn. Okay, uh, so <clears throat> folk, can you continue? Are there any festivals for season in your country? Go on, folk. You can do it. Uh, uh, festival about seasons. Yes. Mm, like I don't mention about it. So. What do you mean you don't mention about it? Like I don't care about festival much. I just care about that. No, ah, I don't basically, Lunar New Year is actually a good festival about season. True. Nó là cái cái lúc mà khởi điểm chuẩn bị uh, vào mùa xuân đó. That is actually Vietnamese, the Vietnamese Tết or Lunar New Year. It's when um, the spring times is about to begin. You know, that's uh, signify the end of winter. Yes, you can talk about it. Okay, nearer to the microphone, please. Uh, I think Lunar New Year is a festival about seasons. Uh, I think is like is uh the first day. Okay, it's the start of autumn. The start of autumn and the end of winter. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> I don't 
Yeah, so you, you know, let's just say that I don't really have much interest about festivals, about season. Nhưng mà đừng nói là I don't care nha. Don't say that you don't care, okay? I don't have much interest in <coughs> festivals about seasons though. Tôi không có nhiều hứng thú lắm về những cái lễ hội về mùa. I don't have much interest in festival about season. Just don't care. just just don't say that I don't care. That is rude, you know. No no yep. hold hold all of them. Don't don't do that, okay? Okay, so let's move on to the next one, I guess. I guess. 15 is done. Okay, let's try something else now. <clears throat> no, not this one. I want something a bit more harder. Let's try this one. 17. Describe yeah. an art or craft activity that you did at school. I miêu tả hmm. một cái hoạt động nghệ thuật hoặc là một cái hoạt động mà làm thủ công mà các bạn đã làm ở trong trường. You should say you... what you made. Các bạn đã tạo ra được cái này. Ơi, cái này mình làm rồi tuần trước rồi thầy. You did okay. last week. Yes. Because okay, that's why I'm, I feel like something. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like. Something we did before, yeah. How about this one? 18? Team working? We work it in a group. Did Not we? yet. Not yet. All right, we can do this one. Let's try this one then. <clears throat> you should tell me. Otherwise, I, sometimes I forgot to write, you know. Okay. Okay, describe a time when you worked in a group. Miêu tả một thời điểm mà các bạn đã làm việc trong một nhóm. You should say when it was and what you did. Hồi đó hồi nào vậy? Khi đó khi nào vậy? What you did? Các bạn đã làm được gì? Who you worked with? Các bạn đã làm việc với ai? Explain why you worked in a group. Giải thích tại sao bạn lại làm việc trong một nhóm. And you also have part three of team working. Now. Do you think team working is important? Bạn có nghĩ là cái chuyện làm việc nhóm là quan trọng không? Team working as a noun. Chuyện làm việc nhóm. Bạn có nghĩ chuyện làm việc nhóm là quan trọng không? Think about the fact that <coughs> Think about the fact that a person doesn't matter how good they are. It's hard to achieve um, a lot without It's hard to it's hard to achieve much. It's hard to achieve a lot without the concerted effort. Concerted effort. Concerted effort. The concerted effort of many people. Thật khó để nhận để có thể đạt được thành quả rất là nhiều mà không có được cái nỗ lực mà cùng nhau làm việc giống như trong một cái hòa nhạc đó của nhiều người. Without the concerted efforts of many people, achieving a lot can be difficult. I think you should give examples. Give examples about team working to, um, to finish a project. To finish a project together, for example. Là một cái dự án cùng nhau chẳng hạn. Or to... Just just don't talk about team working in, the, in an exam, okay? <laughs> Trong exam đi thi không được team work nha. <laughs> you're not allowed to team work in an exam setting. Of course, you're not allowed to. <sighs> Now... You should give exa a lot of examples just to make your ideas, you know, um, longer, to make your answer longer, okay? Next question. How do people improve their team working skill? Làm thế nào con người ta cải thiện cái kỹ năng làm việc nhóm của họ? 
Well, team working can be difficult if um, I think people need to respect each other. Cái đó là cái quan trọng nhất luôn á. The most important is to respect each other. And to contribute to the group. Cống hiến cho nhóm chứ đừng nghĩ là sẽ có người gánh ra dùm. To contribute to the group. A lot of people I know they think that the the best worker in the group can do the majority of the group. A lot of people may think that the best in the best worker in the group can just do can just undertake the majority of the work but that is not right okay that is not fair không có công bằng <cười> this situation is very common in Vietnam gánh tim là cực kỳ một cái chuyện rất là thông thường thấy được ở Việt Nam luôn á and it is not a good thing because it's not fair Even though everyone will receive uh, the same um, result and the same pay, but the thing here is you should not make people do this because it's not fair. So how to improve the team working skills now? You need to improve, um, how can I say, the relationships between uh, teammates và cải thiện những cái mối quan hệ giữa các bạn trong team chẳng hạn. The relationship between teammates should be good in order to work together. <cười> What else? Um, open mind. Yeah, open mindedness. Should be open minded. Open mindedness. Cái sự suy nghĩ thoáng sự suy nghĩ thoáng tức là chấp nhận uh, like uh, you can say accepting thái độ uh, chấp nhận uh, mọi thứ you should ch be accepting accepting of what because everyone has differences mỗi một người đều có những sự khác biệt giữa người này người nọ so accept what accept the differences between people in a team okay Like for example, the differences in um, in the style of work. The differences in the style of work. Sự khác biệt về cái phong cách làm việc. Mỗi người một phong cách làm việc khác nhau nha. Everyone has a different style of work. The differences in khả năng, in ability. The differences in what? phân công lao động đó nha like um, the work the work should be distributed evenly among members of a team cái công việc nên được distributed evenly among members of a team let me check this word for a moment please is it distributed or distributed distributed Moment. Nó nhớ âm hai đúng không? Yeah. Distribute. 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 But here they say that distribute is also fine too. You see. Cho nên nó nói là âm nhất âm một cũng được nè. Distribute. Second, yeah. But here they say that first syllable is also fine too. I think. Okay. Distributed. The work should be distributed evenly among team members or members of a team. Cái công việc nên được um, phân bổ một cách đồng đều giữa những thành viên của cái đội đó. Otherwise, this is not uh, fair, you know. What else can you think of? I think you should um, give examples. Like, I think Mr. Tung and Miss Yeo and Miss Thuận, maybe you have idea because you're already working. You are already working. You should know about this one. Next question. Do you think that team working is for everybody? Why, why not? Bạn có nghĩ rằng chuyện làm việc nhóm là dành cho mỗi người không? Tại sao tại sao không? Well, in my opinion, it's not. 
because some people they they better work alone you know một số người họ nên làm một mình like for example me I work alone the best but when I work with people good people it's terrible <cười> because I feel like it's not going anywhere cảm thấy như nó chẳng đi đâu được cả it's not yeah. going anywhere and some it depends I think It depends on the personalities of people. Nó tùy vào tính cách con người. Um, the types of work that they do. Nó tùy thuộc cái loại công việc họ làm đó. Like for example, as a teacher, I can work by myself. I work alone. I do not need to teamwork. Mm. But if I open a center, I run a business, I need to teamwork with people, you know? Mm. But as far as I know, I have enough money. I don't need to open a business. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I can sit here correcting the, the, my students' uh, pronunciation mistakes and drinking smoothies. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it depends on what you want as well. But team working, do you think is for everybody? share what you think yeah. about it, okay? And give some example. Có một số trường hợp team working nó terrible lắm luôn á. Mà một số trường hợp thì rất cần team working. There are cases when team working is really necessary, but some cases team working is absolutely horrible. Um what's that? <coughs> when the amount of work it's um overwhelming quá nhiều quá giỏi cái lượng công việc nó quá giỏi quá nhiều it might be possible to share the work between members of the team you know otherwise you will not meet the deadlines không thì không thể nào mà kịp deadline đâu phải share công việc um, but sometimes when When decision, when decision need, when decision needs to be um, made quickly. Khi mà cần phải quyết định nhanh chóng. Well, when decisions need to be made quickly, team working might not be a good idea. You know, if you need someone who knows what is good for the whole team who can make decision quickly, you know. Nó tùy nha. It depends. You can also talk about <coughs> extrovert and introvert, những người hướng nội và hướng ngoại nữa cơ. Um, sometimes extroverts, they prefer to work when it's, there are people around. And introverts, they prefer to work by themselves. But sometimes I have seen cases when extroverts, they talk a lot, they go to parties a lot, but then when work, they just want to work alone. And vice versa. <cười> Và ngược lại. Cũng tùy trường hợp nữa. Có những người thương ngoại nhiều khi họ thích party, thích nói chuyện nhiều, thích uh, giao tiếp, thích gặp gỡ bạn bè lắm. Nhưng mà lúc đi làm việc họ lại thích làm mình. It depends. So it depends. All right. So, what are the problems that can arise when team working? The last question. Có những vấn đề gì có thể sản sinh ra khi mà làm việc nhóm không? A lot of problems. You can talk about well, it. Yes, right? a lot of problems. Conflicts. Talk about conflicts. Những xung đột lợi ích. <laughs> Những xung đột. Talk about conflicts. First is conflict of interest xung đột uh, xung đột về uh, xung đột lợi ích đó. xung đột lợi ích của với nhau like conflict of interest like for example um, when you have to use the same resources with another team khi bạn phải sử dụng cái nguồn tài nguyên cùng với lại những cái team khác đội khác conflicts of interest a conflict can happen you know Um, the clash, the clash of personalities, 
đụng độ đụng độ uh, giữa những tính cách với nhau this one happens very often you know chính người mới ý happens very often quan điểm phân biệt yes exactly and also people they they criticize a lot people tend to criticize a lot con người ta có cái xu hướng chỉ trích hơi bị nhiều and so that can create a lot of tension so um, cái sự cảm thấy như nó nó sự căng như dây đàn nó tạo ra cái sự mà căng lắm luôn căng thẳng nơi làm việc tension in a workplace Well, and team working, người ta nói là chỉ khi nào làm việc nhóm với nhau mới thực sự hiểu nhau. People say that when you start to team work with other people, that's when you truly understand how they are. When you when you eating, when you are talking to them, when you having meals with them, you might not understand truly who they are, but when you start to work with them, You understand truly how they are. You know? Okay, you can talk about it. All right, you have some time to think about it now. All right, let's talk about it now, please. Um, Miss Thornton, please, can you describe a time when you worked in a group? Oh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it happened two months ago when I had to do mathematic tasks um, for my teachers mm-hmm. and uh, my group, my group uh, had to solve the task in the short time so uh, we we solve it and we after that we need to take um, to check carefully uh, uh, it was so problematic but um <laughs> yeah they can't know what they yeah no 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 you talk about it now it's a practice <laughs> but uh it's so it was so perfect and um every members in my group uh were pretty hard working was pretty so, hard working was pretty hard working in the way they work so um i think it was the best time that i work in a group uh, is there anything else um <laughs> after doing the task uh, we get a good mark for my teacher so Yes, that's it. Uh, okay. What did I? If you want it that way, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, so, uh, for please, your turn. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, last week, I have a live skill project project you project project a life skill project life skill project and we need to make a video we needed to we needed to make a video uh, talk about uh, uh like talk about talk about what eight of playing about no, art, um, isn't it? Yes, it's kind of, but no, yeah, it's talk about we need to make a video about art, and we don't know how. We didn't know. We didn't. We know. didn't know. Uh, what do we do? We, we do, didn't know what we should do. What we should do, and um, so after a short minute. We decided to draw pictures, but 
is a very like is a large no it's a huge paper and it's a what huge paper you know huge paper it's a huge piece of paper yeah piece of paper. and we need to uh, work together to draw uh like draw my map okay um I work with my classmate and if I if I work alone I think it's very difficult to me to do it. So I need to work in a group. Okay. All right, good enough. Now, you yeah, please can you describe a time when you worked in a group please? <clears throat> well, uh, I got. I would like to describe a typical day. Sorry, a typical day. A typical day of um, team working. A typical day of team working, because uh, I work. I I play teamwork every day. I do teamwork every day. I do teamwork every day. Hoặc là có thể dùng teamwork như là cái um, nhận động từ được luôn. You can say to teamwork as a verb as well. I teamwork every day. So basically, I will uh, the the activity I do um, I do most frequently with my team is brainstorming. Brainstorming. Um, brainstorming and and uh, I will be the người điều hành là gì thầy facilitator coordinator coordinator người điều hành người điều phối coordinator coordinator will be the coordinator of the group yeah coordinator so our task usually is uh refine the uh, clarify the requirements from the customers so um, I work with my teammates uh, my colleagues my colleagues Co my colleagues Co colleagues and um, we are a group of four people of four people and come to I I have to say that uh, working uh, Team, teamwork is very important for us to understand the customer's idea, customer needs, and wants. And it's very important because each, each one have a different perspective. So we could call, we can Come up with. call it, we can call it many ideas and after that we can bring the best solution to our customer mm -hmm. and bring the best solution to our customers good, good. well yeah, yeah. okay we... but that's a lot of uh, that's that's more than two minutes already careful okay okay it's, this question you just, is you just need to focus on what you should say now okay you can say you can talk more during like part three so be careful Okay, uh, did I miss somebody? You yes, me. Yeah. Tung, yeah. <laughs> Tung, please describe a time when you worked in a group. Uh, yes. It's a feeling that I'm missing somebody. <laughs> I feel it's so, just a feeling, so yeah. sad. I trust in my feelings. <laughs> Tung, please. Um, so I will really describe um, the time I when I uh, when I work with a Group. When yeah. I worked. Yeah. When I worked. When I worked. When I worked with a group. Worked. Worked. So I think last time is uh that when time was we, when I was when I when my company has a meeting. Uh huh. Yes. Uh. So I I need to work. <clears throat> I needed to. I needed to work work a group I with uh, work in a group yes work in a group with uh, my 
don't need to learn. With my colleagues. With yeah, <laughs> with my colleagues, and I uh, need to uh, the um, uh, with with uh, with uh, business strategies. Strategies with business strategies. 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 Strategies and um, have when uh, when they have a new product and need to think about how to approach a customer and how to approach 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 uh, approach the customer the customer and um, some how to copy uh, girls and how. Is the script for which? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And um, when uh, when I uh, working in a group, when uh, I worked in a group, yeah. When I worked in a Đang group. Đang miêu tả một cái cái thời điểm đó mà you're trying to describe a past situation. Ah yes. When I was working, was working. When I in worked a group. in a, that group. When I worked khi in that làm, group, khi tôi làm cho với cái nhóm đó. When I worked with that group, nhé. Yeah. When I worked with that group, and I feel so. Sometimes, um, uh, each person has many different perspectives. Uh -huh. Yes, so maybe bring some, uh, some uh, unexpected result. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I feel my, and I felt cẩn thận cái quá khứ careful with the verb in past tense careful yes and I felt what? um sometimes I felt so tired but uh, yes yeah, sometimes I feel so work what I feel I felt what I feel yeah mà thứ kiểu nó hiệu quả thôi I feel that I, I felt that it works I, I felt so sometimes I felt that it worked tôi cảm thấy nó hiệu quả đấy I felt that it worked. Okay, good. Let's go about team working now. So, Miss Yeo, please. Do you think team working is important? Yes, of course. Uh, teamwork is very important. So, uh, we we all know that um, three people is always better than uh, two people is always better than one so you will have different perspective different ideas and uh, sometimes um, you can see a totally different thing um, after team working after doing teamwork mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think Anything so. Anything else? And uh, of course, you can um, learn a lot during teamwork. Uh, it's not so easy. No, yeah, it's not easy. Of course, it's not so easy. All right, folk, what do you think? How do people improve their team working skills? What do you think? Or I think they need to talk Okay, Nira, I we need to hear you. Hello. Yep. Uh like um what's that? Like to Yeah. Uh I talk it Sometimes they need to to um now, the first to tolerate to be more to be tolerant chịu đựng nhau hơn chịu đựng nhau hơn to tolerant to be tolerant chịu đựng nhau hơn sometimes they need to be more tolerant and to listen more lắng nghe nhiều hơn chịu đựng nhau hơn and to not let uh, to not let um, ego wins không để cho cái tôi nó thắng to not let ego wins you know okay continue please now tiếp 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 um, 
Maybe they need to learn more about what they work about. Like, uh, kiểu như là ví dụ mình làm về một cái. Hello. Vậy là làm về một cái uh, project, project nào đó, project. Uh, thì uh, kiểu need to uh, ừ, đi thi xong re- thì kiểu là <cười> ừ. uh, I, I think need to research kiểu phải nghiên cứu sometimes people need to rescue you know sometimes people need help when they work in a team yes true so what about it then oh. kiểu thì sao Uh, what do you say? Let's try again. Uh, em là, uh, what I mean is like uh, when you like uh, when you need to uh, do a project, you and your team need to research or screw uh, or to help uh, the others. Help the others. Yeah, need to help the other to know about to it. Help the others. Help, help the other about it. This will make uh, your project more better. Like uh. Okay, that's the end of my videos. Please like, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and press on the bell button next to the subscribe button so you can get notified about my new uploads, okay? You can also follow, press follow my Facebook, but please don't add me on Facebook as friends, okay? Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi nha. Các bạn hãy nhấn vào like, chia sẻ video này bạn bè các bạn. Nhấn vào nút đăng ký kênh YouTube mình và nút cái chuông kế bên cạnh để đăng ký kênh đó, để mà các bạn có thể được thông báo về những video mới nha. Các bạn cũng có thể nhấn vào nút theo dõi. Facebook mình nhưng nhớ đừng kết bạn Facebook mình nha. Thank you and see you. Bye.